The Singapore Grand Prix is back and for the drivers is one of their favourites as it pushes their physical limits to the max racing at night under the lights at the Marina Bay street circuit. And as it's a special race for many of the drivers, a lot of them do special edition versions of their race helmets. And this year in collaboration with Halo and Quadrant, Lando Norris has absolutely knocked it out of the park of having a Halo themed helmet, inspired of course by Halo's iconic character Master Chief. As you can see, we try to make it identical to the actual thing. The green, the black, red visor as well. So it's been quite a long process uh, to come up with such a thing. It's not as easy as literally just copying it from one to the other. Um, we went through many iterations. Master Chief is one of the most iconic video game characters uh, in all of gaming and all of eSports. I think it's going to look amazing on track under the lights here in Singapore. So. Hope you'll like it. So then, how was this all designed? Well, that's been created by Miles Murphy from MDM Design, who's been working not only with Lando Norris, but George Russell, Sergio Perez, and Alex Albon for years. And in this video, you'll find out how this stunning Halo design was created. I've been working with Lando. The first time I worked with him, I think he was in Kart 2013. Pretty much every year I've done a helmet for him. I've done every one of his F1 helmets so far. So yeah, long, long time I've known Lando. But I'm thinking this one, might top it up. <laughs> well, the normal process it tends to be, like I said, he'll describe things that he might he wants to change. Because he's quite artistic himself, he will actually also like draw his own bits and bobs and send them over. And then we'll basically do a batch of concepts on a sheet, and he can go through and say he likes this, doesn't like that, might want to merge them together, and then you develop a direction from there. Like for some of like the standard helmet is a bit more simplified in that aspect because you keep the main co concept of being yellow, blue, and the same style. It's more when you go into like the specials, like the Mexico style, where we had like basically change the parts inside the blue. And with the like the bigger project ones, like say this one we're doing now, that's a completely different clean slate. So this big project we've been working on, it's been going on for a few months now. We're very, very lucky that Microsoft and Halo have let us go in this direction. The Master Chief helmet, it's iconic. It's something that everyone always notices as soon as they think of Halo, bang, Master Chief. The previous years have kind of been like Lando's normal helmet when you've done like a quadrant tweak on it, like the all black one with all the quadrant elements when they first launched, or like last year when we did the white version, the similar sort of theme. So the idea was we're gonna do something a bit different, a bit outlandish. What we do is purely the design aspect, so like all the sides of the helmet, or detail that. Oh, the visor, obviously, you notice the Master Chief one, the iconic orange red visor on it. So, originally, what we were going to do is have the visor sticker that's meant to be on there normally above it. You know, more of the visor on show. Well, if we want to try and like make it as look as realistic as possible, of, like all the ridges and the shadow in there, if we brought the visor back onto where it's normal place, it allows that part of the helmet to that be that more exaggerated so you get more of an impression. It was very much helped out by the fact that Halo sends us a lot of high res material. From then, I had to start like first shopping bits out to like make those areas in the right places then merge them together steadily almost like a jigsaw so what can fit around this part of the helmet the best without going so far away from the original that is noticeable so this is the close-up when we've got all the detail section in. so we try to make it as photo accurate as possible some sections we literally were able to take like the whole side pretty much and just go in there and then take the next bits and overlap them all and then like merge them together so this is some of the picture reference they sensors so especially the front was the hardest one to work with by, by far because you've got the initial helmet it's like quite pointy and far forward, whilst obviously on the bell it's quite smooth around. A lot of the time it's with the mesh tool and then you kind of like almost like enveloping areas around it, so you're manipulating the shape quite a lot. So this is an earlier version we had before we started like merging everything together and prepping the artwork. So starting here we've got the main template there, so we've got basically the visor detail in there, the kind of response that needs to be in set locations. The first thing we've done in there, we started working with the bottom of it. The bottom of the helmet is where we had to do the most work of it, especially from the front. Imagine you've got the Master Chief one, it's like bulks out here, bulks out the front, and you've got the bits of the lights at the side of it. So we had to take all the reference images that we had basically from Halo, put them all onto Photoshop, arrange them all to get this like blend from the side I expect that was already approved. We've edited this part in dark behind the smart sheet logos and we've used a bit of creative license really to adapt that bit into this helmet without say going too far away from the original because we say from the original where you saw it there the peak is there quite straight and we had to then get this curve to go around the visor itself. The next part is now we're filling in the gaps at the bottom here that were previously all black and open so this layer is a merge of it all where we've done a bit of touching up, so there's a bit of colour filtering and a bit more of the aspect from the elements, make it a lot worn and chipped around there. So that's basically how the, the structure is in a simplified way of how it's all in layered up in these concept versions. Bear in mind, this is the front only. We've had to do this on the sides, <laughs> the top and the rear as well in the same sort of way. I'd say there's probably been about like, say like there's like 120 minimum elements in each bit. 
and the bigger ones are probably double in that. So I think in terms of layers, it's probably not the most heavy, but it's the most work in each layer to get the form and shape you wanted out of it. Once the design is finished and finalized and approved by all the contributors, it is then sent off to JMD who do all the paint work. And if you fancy watching how a normal Formula One helmet gets painted, you can watch a previous video I did all about it by clicking just over there. But my thanks to Halo, Quadrant, and to Mars for showing us the entire process of this awesome helmet design. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time.